Radio Norfolk. So, arts, lights and fashion, words that do not only describe the beauty of uh, Norwich, but also a brand new art exhibition by uh, Kerwin Blackburn called Lights Canvas Action 3, Homecoming. He'll be uh, featuring his work at the Crypt Gallery next to Norwich Cathedral from the 23rd of February through to the... Uh, oh, that's the story on the go, isn't it? Until the 11th of March. And he'll be uh, displaying all of his uh, Jackson Pollock-style uh, portraits plus other merchandise. You must check him out online at Kerwin Blackburn if you're uh, at your laptop or you've got your phone handy. Kerwin Blackburn, go and have a look. Sam Day caught up with him uh, a little bit earlier on. Oh, just outside the Norwich Cathedral, just by the green. I can see the hostry over there, a bit of the cathedral there too. But turning in to the Crypt Gallery as part of the Norwich School here, I can see a special exhibition on. Ooh, let's go down. Oh, just down the steps. And here we are with Lights Canvas Action 3 Homecoming by Kerwin Blackburn. You're the man himself. Hello. I am. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. I'm very excited about my latest exhibition in Norwich, uh, which is set up. And, yeah, it's all, it's all going great. you got some amazing artwork in there, but first of all, you're a piece of art yourself <laughs> with that amazing jacket. Yeah, well, I, saw, I saw it in the, in, uh, on Boohoo Man, the, Boohoo Man the other day. Um, yeah, and I thought I saw. I thought I need to have that for my art shows. It's perfect. Um, obviously, you can't tell on radio, but <laughs> you'll see lots of pictures online, I'm sure. Yeah, some wonderful spangly sequins. <laughs> yeah, uh, the perfect outfit for an opening night of an arts exhibition. Um, you've got this wonderful place. The music's pumping there. How do you feel when you open an exhibition like this? It's always quite surreal when I've been working something in my studio for so long, and then I've got these plans in my head, and then I draw the plans up and come and measure everything and it's yeah and when you actually see it all set up and when people you know they love to come and visit and they get so excited about seeing it no it really it's really a really sort of special moment to see it all all in action uh, so tell me more about the exhibition then where did this come from um well my last few shows were in london in 2021 and i've done a couple of shows in norwich before um including at the forum and it's my old school actually norwich school so um i was speaking to an old teacher a while ago they said get in contact with the school about the space here uh, which I think it was converted a few years ago into the gallery. And, yeah, I came to look, check it out, and we went from there, and now it's, yeah, it's a really good space to exhibit because um, you've got the old architecture here. The, I think the building's 700 years old, so you've got the arches and all the old stonework. So it's really nice to have my really contemporary work in such a historic place. Um, yes, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. It's a wonderful um, contrast, that, which we're going to talk about. Yeah. Um, but more about your learning and your education in art. Uh, after leaving Norwich School, I went to University of Manchester Business School. Oh, I studied international business, finance and economics. And, yeah, a lot of people think I went to art school or art college. But no, I went to learn about the business stuff, the, business, the commercial side of things, learn about the marketing and so on. And that's really the, that commercial grounding is really is what enabled me to learn about all the, the kind of practical side of the art. I think that's a really big thing for a lot of artists nowadays. You've got all the tools at your hand, at your disposal, like social media and so on. You just need to learn, you know, know how to use them. So you've been beyond uh, Norfolk and uh, now you're back yes. here at Norwich Cathedral. Yeah. What's it like? A nice bit of a homecoming for you? Yeah, it's really nice um, to have the change from London. So London's great because you've got the exposure and everything. Um, it's nice to come back to Norfolk where I've got the connection and people really love to hear the story. And yeah, certainly to meet different types of audiences... Um, and also the next one is in New York in June. Oh, there you go then. <laughs> yeah, just drop that in. <laughs> yeah. From Norwich to New York. Yeah, exactly, yes. Yeah. So that'll be my first international show. Um, that's in June. So, yeah, that's the next one to look out for. So, yeah, looking forward to planning all that next. Talking about New York, you had the uh, wonderful privilege of uh, showing some work in the Norwich Forum as well, didn't you, recently? Yeah, so uh, that was December 2020. My first exhibition of, of all this artwork was in the Forum. Uh, and that was in between lockdowns as well, so, yeah, very lucky to, to fit it in between lockdowns. And, yeah, it's good to be back in Norwich on display and, really, yeah, really pleased with the venue and good to meet some more people. So let's go in now to the actual um, uh, gallery space. Uh, there's a long rectangular room uh, with some wonderful prints uh, on the wall surrounding. Uh, so this exhibition, what's it all about, Cohen? Um, so, yeah, I've called it Lights, Canvas Action 3, uh, Lights Canvas Action 1 was in the forum um, in December 2020 and that really came after a year of lockdowns and I was finally able to get it on display so I, you know, went with the pop art, Hollywood theme, Lights Camera, Lights Canvas Action and uh, yeah, it's the third show I've, I've done in Norwich so it's the third edition of this 
Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That kind of conveys what it's all about. You know, high energy, lots of colour, lots of vibrant, uh, lots of big popular faces. And yeah, I think that really encapsulates the whole thing. And yeah, I can already see the famous faces: Amy Winehouse, Diana Ross, David Bowie, Marvin Gaye. You, you've got all the famouses here, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's a mixture of my favourite icons and also the, the ones that people love the most and the ones that people request. Uh, so I make sure to get a good mix of different music styles, people from different eras, so that everyone can relate to someone. That's really the main the main goal. And tell me about your style as well, just moving along. And um, They're all um, of a certain style, but they all look so different as well. It's got that kind of pop art feel, but then you know, there's the splatters as well, which yeah. fill the colour. Tell me about the artistic decisions behind that. Yeah, so, well, it all really comes from um, Jackson Pollock, and he, invented, he sort of invented the action painting style of throwing the paint on the canvas uh, back in the 1940s and 50s. And, um, yeah, I've, I've taken that style and combined it with a pop art, which is kind of more Andy Warhol. So kind of combine the different influences and yeah, I've come up with this unique style that I've not seen anywhere else before. Yeah, it's one of those things. You see um, a portrait from afar. Let's take this one from... Uh, the, OK, let's take um, Prince right there. So from afar, it's, it's a wonderful pop art. You can see the blocks of colour there. But then when you move yeah. further in, and then you can really see the detail in the sparkles, can't you? Yeah, that's, it's, they're kind of two painting one because, like you say, you've got the pop art face, the portrait image. But then you, you get up close and you can see the texture and the different layers and the real depth of the painting. Um, so they, they work in lots of different ways, yeah. Moving along, we got some uh, mugs here, all lovely stuff. Yeah, um, yeah so over the last few months I've been uh, developing lots of products. I've got mugs behind us here. I've got lots, a whole tray of different things. Uh, flip lovely. Flops, coasters, oh. <laughs> tote bags, uh, all different bits, uh, cushions. So yeah, I'm really yeah, experimenting with lots of different ideas. They are the coolest pair of flip flops I've ever seen. It's all, all your favourite celebs and uh, musical icons on one flip flop. Amazing. Yeah, they're, they're, they're brand new for this. Um, with summer not just far around the corner, yeah, I'm looking forward to wearing those uh, somewhere hot soon. Nice. So, uh, some wonderful pictures here. Are, are they on sale as well as on show? Yes. Um, so, the original paints are all for sale, um, apart from the few I've already sold. And they all come as prints as well in different sizes. So, the prints are all on my website. Um, I deliver anywhere in the world. Deliveries usually in about four to five days. So, nice and quick. Um, so, yeah, it can all be seen at by Kerwin. Com. Just seeing some more famous faces here. Freddie Mercury, Elvis Presley. It's a surprise everywhere you turn, isn't it? Um, how long is this going on for in the Norwich Cathedral? Obviously, a wonderful opening night. You've got the music in the background there. How long is it here for in the Norwich Cathedral? So we opened yesterday, or we opened on the 23rd of February, and it's open until the 11th of March. Uh, so a good two and a half weeks. Uh, so a really nice stretch. And it's open Monday through to Saturday, um, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the weekdays and 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturdays. Uh, one more question. How much convincing did it take to uh, get into this venue uh, or was it a really easy decision? Because uh, there's such a, a contrast here between the style of the building, you know, the stone pillars and the ceilings and the modern art. Yeah, no, there was no convincing uh, on either party. You know, I think it works really well having the, the really colourful contemporary artwork in such a historic building and all the, you know, the arches and the, 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 the architecture here. It really works having the balance of the two. And, yeah, I don't think the closest see many much artwork like this. Uh, so if you are in Norwich, I'd, I'd really recommend uh, a visit uh, in the next couple of weeks and see for yourself. Kerwin, good luck with everything. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, make sure you don't forget about us when you move New York with this <laughs> exhibition. Yeah. No, well, I'll be back for Lights Canvas Action 4 at some point, <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, lovely to hear from uh, Kerwin Blackburn again, that report from uh, Sam Day with his microphone on a stick. And if you can't get along to see Kerwin's exhibition in Norwich, as I say, he's got a, a website, Kerwin Blackburn. Just put that into your search engine and uh, it'll take you there. BBC Radio Norfolk with Stephen Bumfrey on a...